Hello everyone, my name is Marcelo and in this video we will learn how we can wait the download to be completed on YPath before executing the next activities. So let's get started. So sometimes during automation you may need to download the file and to avoid certain type of exceptions it's a good practice to add a condition to wait so the download to be completed before executing the next activities. So now we will see a case where automation will download the file from the RPA challenge website by clicking on this button and then it will try to read the file. So let's run the automation. So we can see that was done the download but we got here exception the workbook does not exist so that means that after uh, was done the click was tried uh, so to read the file downloaded but because the download was not completed yet we got an exception so if we do here now a retry it will work because the download was already complete so to avoid this type of exceptions when we try to read a file that was downloaded, we can use the activity wait for download. So this activity, as it says here, detects a file download from many application and waits for the download to complete before further processing of the file in automation. So that's what we really want. So let's run the activity inside of our project. So first, we should indicate what's the activity that will initiate the download. So in our case, will be the click on the download Excel button. So let's run the activity inside of this do sequence. Then here we should indicate the monitor folder. So the folder where will be stored the file downloaded. So in my case, it's this one. So I don't need change. And then here we can create a variable that will get information about the downloaded file, like the name of the file and the path and much more. So let's create a variable so we can understand better then what's, what we can do with this variable. So let's create the variable file info, for example. So now here on the read range, Let's call the variable that we have created, file info. And now, if we add a dot, we can see that we can get information about the downloaded file, like the creation time, the directory, uh, the full name, that it's a full path to the file, the land name, and much more. So in this case, we should indicate here the full path on the read range activity. So now, let's see if we get exception or not by using the wait for download activity. So let's run the automation, but before let's delete the file that we have already downloaded. And now let's so execute the automation. And as we can see, now we didn't get any exception because we have used the wait for download activity that waits the download to be completed before executing the next activities. So if you like this video, please give a thumbs up so it really helps the video to reach more people and now the channel to grow. And now consider to subscribe to the channel and now to enable the notifications bell so you can get track of each video that I launch every week on the channel. Bye bye and I see you on the next video.